If you have ever worked on a React project before, you have most likely come across the error that says GSX expressions must have one root parent element, or another one that says adjacent GSX element must have an enclosing tag. And the solution to this is actually very simple. You just throw in a div tag or any HTML tag of your choice, or you can just throw in a React fragment. But have you ever thought to ask yourself, why does this error exist in the first place? Well, in this video, I'll be explaining the reason behind this error by also showing you some internal workings of React and also showing you how GSX works, what it is compared to, and all those information. But let's just jump straight into the code so we understand. I have this simple project here built with Create React App, and in this project, I'll be using it to show you how GSX works internally and also why the adjacent error exists. So with this project, I have replaced the app.js with this simple component here, which is a div with a class name property with container. And then it has the hello child as the text content. And you can see it here like this. So when does the adjacent error exist? It exists when there are multiple parent elements. It expects only one parent element, but when it finds multiple, then it's going to throw that error. So how do you create multiple parent elements? I'm going to show you two ways in which multiple parent elements can exist. The first one is this. So we have this parent element here. So let's say I create two of this. So now I have two of this elements just at the root. See, after the return here, then you have these two. These are two parent elements. And of course, React is going to throw an error for this. Right here in my editor, you can already see JSX expressions must have one parent element. When I come to the UI, you can also see adjacent JSX element must be wrapped in an enclosing tab. Did you want a JSX fragment? This is the first way two parent elements can exist. And I'm going to show you the second way. So let's say I have a variable here. I'll just call this true. I'm going to remove one parent element from here. So React doesn't complain. And down here, I'm going to say, if is open is true, then render this. So I'm going to render a div and I'm going to say is open is true and I'm going to close the div. So for this, React is not going to complain. You can see is open is true is rendered. But if after this and operator, then maybe somewhere around here, I open bracket and I put this in and then I create two of it. Then now we're going to have the parent element error again. You can see JSX expressions must have one parent element and in the UI, you're going to have the same adjacent error here. So these are two ways in which you can have multiple parent elements, but this does not work in React. So why, why, why does this error exist? Well, let me take you back to the first code, which works, and I'm going to clear this line here. So one thing I want you to understand is that JSX is syntactic sugar for the react.createElement method. This method is just like a normal JavaScript function, which allows you to create components. And the syntax of this method is that it accepts multiple arguments. The first argument is the element you want to create, which can be a React component or a normal HTML element. Then next, it accepts the props, the properties of this component they are creating. And then next, it accepts children. Now, these children can be as many as possible. They are all separated by comma. So you're going to have something like child, 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 as many as you want. Now, if you want a child that is also going to be a parent of another child then you can use the react.create element again and same thing this is going to accept the element type it's going to accept the props and then you can have child child as many child as you want and of course if you want more parents you keep using the react.create element so i'm going to clear this and let's say i have this gsx so this is a div it has a class name of container and inside this div i'm going to create the h1 which has a text of like hello then after this i'm going to have another div and in this div i'm going to have h2 and this is going to be hi so this is gsx this is the result here so how do i write this using the react.create element well i'm going to do it like this react.create element then like i said the first argument it accepts is the element so i'm going to pass a div as a string then this has props the props here is a class name of container so i'm going to create an object here and then this is going to receive the class name prop with container value and then next this div has two children it has the h1 child 
and it has the div child. So for the h1 child, since this is a parent of this hello child, then I'm going to use react.create element again. So react.create element, this would accept the h1. This doesn't have any props, so this will be null. And then for the child, this is going to be the hello string. The div element also has the other div child. So I'm going to come down here after pressing my comma at the edge here. Then I'm going to say react again dot create element. And this is going to accept the element, which is a div. This doesn't have any props here. So I'm going to use null. I think what I'm also going to do, I'm going to comment this so we can erase all those lines that are shown on there. I'm also going to replace this with div. So this is going to be div. This doesn't have any props. So this will be null. And then this has another child, which is a h2. So down here again, I'm going to use react.create element. And this is going to receive the element type, which is h2. And this H2 doesn't have any properties, so this is going to be null. And then this H2 has a child of high, which is the text. So we're going to have high like this. So for this JSX that we have here, this is the equivalent for the react.create element method. When I go back to the UI and I refresh, you can see it gives the same result. You can also see how the react.create element equivalent has so many create elements, create elements, create elements, create elements. And that's why we have JSX, which makes it easier to create react components so what happens internally is that when you pass this JSX to react it is compiled to this because this is what JavaScript understands this is normal JavaScript code this is a normal JavaScript function this is a normal JavaScript object these are normal objects these are normal strings and all that JavaScript doesn't understand this JSX so like I said earlier this is just syntactic sugar for the react.create element method if you want to test how JSX is compiled to normal JavaScript script code you can use this online babel compiler here so i'm just going to copy it and when i come here i'm just going to replace this here with what i copied you can see this is the javascript side which is a react create element create elements create elements create elements just as we have here so why is this information important why do you need to know what gsx is compiled to well because understanding what gsx is compiled to helps you to know why there has to be one root parent element as you can see with this react.create element we we have one parent element which is the div and then this div has properties and this div has other children when you are creating a component you don't create it with two parent elements so what this means is that if you come back here i'm just going to simplify this to div and div so if you come here and let's say you have two of this div like this what this is going to translate to is it's going to be return react.create element with the div this doesn't have any property so this will be null and it doesn't have any children so this will be null then you're also going to have another react.create element and this is going to be div and this is going to be null this is going to be null so if i comment this part here you can already see that this is wrong syntax in javascript you cannot return two things at the same time so you can see that i'm returning this and this but only this is going to get to the ui this is not going to get to the ui you can only return one thing at a time so this is why this is a wrong syntax you're trying to return two react.create elements at the root that is not possible you can only return one of this and then inside of this you can now have as many children as you want but there needs to be that one root parent element so that when you're converting it to this create element method here it's going to be like this you have your root you have your props and then you can have as many children as you want and these children can also be parents now let me also address the other way that i showed you that you can create multiple parent elements so let's say this is constant it's open it's true so here i'm going to use the is open and say div and we're going to say if is open then render a h1 that says hello now this is normal in react react understands this nothing is going to break now for the react.create element this is going to be what the gsx will be compiled to so we're going to have react.create element and of course this element is going to accept the div this div doesn't have any property so this is going to be null then for the child we're going to have is open and react.create element the element is going to be the h1 it doesn't have any properties this is going to be null and then we're going to have the hello string so this is what this would be converted to if i go to the ui here and i refresh you can see that hello is logged because is open is true so what now happens when we try to do something like this let's say we have another root element element which is the h2 and this is going to be high so what this is going to be compiled to is is open 
and react.create element. Then at the end of this, we're going to have another react.create element, which is going to be h2 null and high. You can already see that this is throwing a syntax error because after this and operator, we expect to return only one thing. But in this case, after the and operator, we are trying to return one and we're trying to return two. And that's going to throw that error again that says react component must have only one parent element. We're trying to return two things here and as you can see, that is not possible. That is syntactically wrong. So instead, what we can do here is we can now wrap this with a div and then we can place the h1 and the h2 inside of it. I'm going to comment this and show you what this will be compiled to. So we're going to have is open and react.create element and then we have the div and this div doesn't have any properties. This will be null. And then this can now have multiple children. So the first child is going to be the H1. I'm going to paste it here like this. And the second child after the comma is going to be the H2. And then I paste it like this. And then I can clean this line. So you can see now that we have a div root element, we can now have multiple children. When we go back to the UI, you can see we have the hello and the hi. So you can see the reason why the GSX cannot have multiple parent elements is because we're trying to, number one, return multiple things from a function, which is syntactically wrong. And secondly, we are trying to return two things after an operator that expects one expression to be returned. And as you can see, the way we fix this is by providing a root element, which is this div. And by providing it, we can now have as many children as we want. So this is why the adjacent error exists in React. GSX is synthetic sugar for the create element method. And whatever you try to do in GSX will be compiled to the create element equivalent. When you try to return two roots at the component, you are actually trying to return two things from a function which is not possible in JavaScript. So that is why you need to have a root element, which can be a normal div element. It can be a normal component or it can be a fragment component. And then you can have as many children as possible. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and also subscribe for more simplified content.